you are watching ross medical lectures and myself tanya rose jacob in this video let's discuss about cold from the chapter thermal injuries of forensic medicine cold can be defined as the oral or axillary temperature of less than 35 degrees celsius we know clinically we are measuring temperature by placing the thermometer in oral cavity or axillary pit so cold means if the temperature is below 35 degrees celsius exposure to cold produce hypothermia now we discuss the definition next let's see what are the local effects of cold mainly two local effects first one trench foot and immersion foot second one is frost bite remember two local effects trench foot and immersion foot first one frost bite is the second local effect trench foot and immersion foot from the name itself it's clear that it affect lower extremities it occur due to the prolonged exposure to severe cold severe cold means the temperature of range 5 to 8 degrees celsius and dampness for example we can take the situation of soldiers during winter warfare especially who are in the trenches and in persons those who are exposed to prolonged immersion and the second local effect you can see the um, uh, immersion food diagram over here and trench food here and the second one is frost bite it occur due to exposure to the extreme cold that is about minus 2.5 degree celsius here in addition to the extremities it affect other parts like nose ears and face in frost bite necrosis with the blister formation and gangrene formation can occur it's about a local effect you can see the frost bite picture over here the blisters the gangrene necrosis everything you can see over here and next let's move on to the general effects the general effects involved let's see what all are there and the ill effects of cold appear in three stages the first one the patient feels cold and shivers and body temperature began to fall down and it is the first situation first stage and the second stage when the temperature is uh, below or at 32 degrees celsius the shivering stops and the person and the person become lethargic means uh, he lack energy and and he become drowsy and sleepy which gradually move to a stupor the and the coma stage stupor means a stage near unconsciousness mobility is impaired and muscles get stiffened even if the muscles are impaired he feel uh, try if he tries to walk he may feel like he is drunk respiration circulation metabolic and enzymatic processes and oxygenation of all cells are slowed down or blocked third step is if the temperature is lowered to 27 degrees celsius or less and if it continues to be in 27 degrees celsius for about 24 hours or more than 24 hours it is fatal because of the failure of vital centers due to anoxia next let's see one of the strange condition that is paradoxical or reciprocal undressing it is commonly seen in old persons and linked with accidental hypothermia here because of severe cold the person take off some or all of their clothing that is the person undress himself because of some discomfort due to severe cold due to long exposure to the severe cold result in failure of the vaso constriction of arterioles of the skin which result in the flow of blood from the central part of the body thus giving an exaggerated sensation of warmth in this case there may be a suspicion of sexual offense but the person is untrusted by himself next condition is the hide and die syndrome or terminal burrowing behavior it is nothing but because of severe uh, because of severe cold the person try to hide himself in corners cupboards household goods etc this may lead to suspicion of homicide and robbery but maybe the person himself did all these stuffs to hide himself from the severity of the cold here is a picture showing uh, the both condition the paradoxical or reciprocal undressing as well as uh, the hide and die syndrome next let's 
Next neonatal cold injury. It results from a failure of the metabolism to prevent a fall in temperature in a body kept in an unstable cold environment. The normal body temperature of a newborn is between 36.5 degrees Celsius to 37.5 degrees Celsius when we are considering the axillary temperature. And uh, the heat loss from the body can be by convection, conduction, radiation and evaporation. The symptoms usually appear in the first week of the life. The clinical manifestation includes swelling, edema of the extremities, particularly hand and feet and the eyelids. And there will be localized hardening of skin and sub, uh, subcutaneous tissue overlying the edematous part. And it starts uh, in the distal part of the leg and spread to the trunk region. And you can observe the red color of face, hand and feet. Pulsation of peripheral arteries are absent. And shallow, slow and maybe irregular respiration can be seen. Oozing of blood from the scratches and injection sites, petechial hemorrhage and gastrointestinal bleeding can be observed. And the medical legal importance of uh, neonatal cold injury is it is a method of killing illegitimate and unwanted infants. Illegitimate means the children born to parents who are not lawfully married to each other. It's about today's video. Let's revise once everything. We started with the definition, right? Cold is when the oral or axillary temperature is less than 35 degrees Celsius. The local effect include trench foot and immersion foot and frostbite. Trench foot and immersion foot is when temperature is 5 to 8 degrees Celsius and affect extremities and common in soldiers during winter warfare. Frostbite occurs at minus 2.5 degrees Celsius. Here, extremities, nose, ear, face are affected. In frostbite, necrosis with the blister formation and gangrene can occur. Central effect of cold or ill effect occur in three stages. The first one is shivering and body temperature falls down. Second stage is if the temperature is below 32 degrees Celsius, shivering stops and person experience lethargic, drowsy, sleeping, impaired mobility, slow slow down metabolic and enzymatic activity and respiratory uh, so and respiration slow down respiration circulation and all third step is when temperature is below 27 degrees celsius for 24 hours or longer than 24 hours and it can lead to death paradoxical or reciprocal undressing is when the person undress himself to protect from extreme cold due to some uh, great discomfort such as a result or uh, as a result of failure of vasoconstriction of arterioles or skin and all the hide and eye syndrome or terminal burrowing behavior is the person hide himself in corners, cupboards, household goods to protect himself from the extreme cold. Neonatal cold injury is characterized by edema of extremities, eyelids and no, pulp no pulsation of peripheral arteries, infant lie motionless and oozing of blood from scratches and injection site can be seen medical legal importance of neonatal cold injury is it is a method of killing unwanted infants it's about today's video and i hope you guys like my video if you like my video please don't forget to subscribe my channel share this video thank you for watching